And we are back with another great match from the um, YMCA World Championships 2023. Um, this time we have the finals of the winner bracket. So um, here we should have uh, Federzoni versus Carl M. Or I disc uh, here Federzoni is called Boris AI and Carl M is Carl M. Let's just get straight into the game. Um, first notable thing here. In this uh, final of the winner bracket, um, the screen player Carl M already knows the weakness of the GDI player and picks a map that is small and not very resource intensive. So this GDI uh, more as a late game faction and with a heavy stuff will not be able to play out this heavy stuff. This is very unlikely. Um, yeah, and here we see a good start. Screen player spreads out. GDI rather builds compact. And um, I think we're gonna see a rush. Uh, something that puts pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. First, Ewan's already rushing over to the screen player. I mean, on this map, it doesn't make any sense to not rush. So, the winner of this match is going to be in the final with a big advantage of never having lost any matchup and here we have the GDI it's pretty typical for uh, Federzoni um, to play with these EP Grenadiers and pump out quite a lot of infantry with GDI so no surprise here we have seen in this tournament that uh, the screen player is heavily relying on interloper that uh, back then um, were quite effective against heavy, so their laser in the back in that time was good against tanks and not so good against infantry. So this bug has mostly been fixed, and now screen have a good anti-infantry force. This is the interloper, and there's no longer as strong against vehicles as it was. So he did, that's the only right thing here, he retreats because the infantry is just something that counters him. So I guess we're gonna see other units soon. Let's see, have a look at the production. Uh, we're still seeing interlopers. I mean, he could still try to get past the infantry and just take out the harvesters, but... Infantry is actually pretty strong against these tanks. I don't know if this is a good plan he's pursuing at the moment. But he doesn't have enough rocket soldiers. So he's getting outmaneuvered. And he need, he needs more rocket infantry. This this army is not gonna make it. Oh but here's another other part of the army coming in, very nice. He might take out a harvester even. Oh, but he's outnumbered, heavily outnumbered here. And he does not take the harvester. That might be very critical for GDI. And the impede grenadiers, they miss their targets. That's that's really hard. But still some good hits here. The first uh, ore field is empty already. So for this map we are now getting into the mid game. But we, of course we are still seeing early game units. Two repair base. This is a clear sign that Screen just wants to show him that he has already won and can afford two repair base. Since he's not or even not using the one in the back. Oh, now here come the MLRS. So this is a quite a fragile army, but it can deal a lot of damage. Screen is continuing to pumping. Continues to pump out the interlopers. And we have a split attack. He's going for the harvesters again. This might not be a good de decision here. He's gonna snipe out the MLRS, I guess. 
since they, they are really de dealing a lot of damage. But yeah, it's, it's still a good fight for GDI player. Could have been worse. But this still... I thought he's gonna be totally crushed. I think the power suits are absolute catastrophe here. This is super effective against infantry, but Scrim does not have any infantry. Maybe he does it for the scouting aspect, but then one would be enough. Oh, here the engineer comes. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. So he has set up a route already to go into the uh, colony platform, but that's not going to end well, I think. Also, he has like four cognards already. Wow. I can't imagine the resources are enough for this. So, yeah, yeah, cash is empty. So, I don't think he can build so many buildings. And this one is caught. Oh, he escapes. You should, he should use more attack moves. More attack moves for GDI. Oh, 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 this army is too small. I think this will be the, the, the coffin nail for GDI now. Oh, GDI has a better economy here. But the army is so much better for the interlopers, the screen. Okay, here we see runas, even the upgraded version of the runa. So this is going to take out infantry like nothing. This is not going and a few more runas and there's no way. No way he's gonna stop it with, with this infantry. Okay, but he knows that his infantry cannot just walk through the artillery. I think the battle tanks are just too few. And they don't attack move, they just run into the despair. Ah, taking out the runa is a good here. Very nice. But now he's outnumbered and loses all the tanks. This is, this is not going to end well soon. It's a great match with a lot of action, but here I think it's gonna end. There's, there's no way how GDI can get out of this. Oh, the buzzer swarm. That is the end. I think GDI can give up here now, but he's a fighter. He keeps on going. Still trying to defend this. With one har two harvesters and one barracks, two barracks. This is not possible. He's absolutely not giving up. Oh, now he's selling. No, he's <laughs> trying to get away. <laughs> Very good. Okay, good match. Let's um, dive directly into the next match. Um, so this was the map choice of the screen player. Um, this one here. So now I think this must be the map choice uh, of the GDI player. And yeah, all that does make sense here. Let's see. So both have the same factions, Talon and Harbinger. Um, let's just 
make it a bit faster at the beginning. This map, of course, will show a totally different match since uh, the distance is very big. Or well, let's say it's quite big, but the resource amount is very, very big. So here, pumping out economy is always an option, the best option. Because even if you decide to do an early rush, usually you can just pump out some infantry and some tanks and defend it and then still have a better economy if you're not like totally unprepared. If you scout just a little bit, a rush does not really make sense. You can do some kind of um, mid-game overwhelm where you just stop your economy and don't pump out more harvesters. Just build war factories and then go with like 40, 40 tanks, something like this. This works on this map, but a rush of like 10 units does not work. So I guess GDI is now a bit afraid something like that might happen again. Oh yeah, and something like that does happen again. Here this time we have some seekers in the mix. So we'll see if the power suits here will be targeted on the seeker which are light armored in contrast to the interlopers that are heavy armored. And he instantly retreats. Yeah, the, the firepower of GDI is not, not too bad. So let's have a look at the economy. The army, yeah. Okay, surprisingly, Scrim has more army value. Oh, the economy of GDI is much better. Wow. He's expanding here. Yeah, that's a lot of harvesters already, but he's not pulling uh, refineries to the front. In contrast to the screen player who has some, but mm, less, less harvesters. Wow. Still the earnings are similar. So I guess GDI is either blocking the harvesters or it's not having enough silos. Let's have a look at the cash. No, GDI cache is empty. That surprises me a little bit. Okay, here might be the first battle, first big battle. No. Both play it safe. Screen is heavily expanding. Oh, and here we see the airstrips. So there's gonna be bombers soon okay now we have the update of the economy and GDI has more income that's would have been a surprise if it stayed that way and the army value okay it's quite similar a bit more GDI now which is interesting mm, that's that fight GDI should easily win such a big amount of infantry it's cool that he also has some MLRIs in the back so it can just hit some punches in a hit and run situation very nice good fight good fight by GDI I think he could have even kept the momentum and go for one of the expanded expansions but I think he does not know that and is expect, expecting heavy reinforcements yeah the army value is now scissored out a lot. Um, earnings are still the same. Bit, bit of an advantage for GDI. So taking map control has not unfolded into an economic advantage here, but that's no surprise since there's plenty of ore everywhere. So you don't need map control in that stage. Bombers are here, circling, and another fight is going to take place. Ah, now the screen army is bigger, and with good focus fire, screen should win this. Yeah, 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 he's taking out the damage dealers. Just one refinery, that's it. I think on the army this would have made more sense. He only needed to hit like two seekers and had more value than the refinery. Also, he informed his opponent that 
Anti-Air ist now important. So. I don't know if this was a good decision to bomb the refinery. And the gap in the earnings has closed. Army value is still GDI. But there's no blockers at all. Just squishy MLRS. Oh my god. Oh my god. They land some great hits, but if screen closes in, the MLRS is gonna fall like nothing. They're just so squishy. It doesn't even matter if this interlopers or ML or seekers shooting on them. Yeah, all MLRS are dead. Good job by screen evading these snap-on bombs. The defense turrets do their job very really good. Yeah, here's a, a big drop in GDI army craft. I think we will see even more drop. Building one single. Oh, that's a lot of bombers. But they don't care about the army. Okay, now we see some bombs. There's even more of these fuckers coming. Interesting. GDI is much higher on the income. Oh, this this could be really devastating. If he takes out all the power plants, which is no problem here. Then, uh, but I think he just splits the bombs and everything. This is this is very good. This could really harm the reinforcements of screen player. If he keeps taking out the economy with the bombers or like the the war factories and the production, this could be really crucial to victory. Oh, here's a lot of bombers. Oh my god. And. Um, Carl M needs to make a decision here if he wants to keep these interlopers and ma or make the upgrade for anti-air. Because he needs anti-air now, desperately. Oh my god. The bombers just get free hits, almost free hits. And again, he only has squishy MLRS that get obliterated like nothing. No blockers, no damage soakers, nothing. He lost his army, but there's another one coming in already. It's really impressive how both sides have decided against countering the enemy units and just keep building what they're building. So... Wow. And more, we see more MLRS. Wow. Squishy and dying like nothing. More bombers coming back. But just circling the way. He has lost significant amount of airstrips. And he's paying such a high price for only building squishy MLRS. I don't think GDI can get back from this.
It's a bit strange because there's a third replay of this matchup, but if Scrin wins this game here, then it should only be two. But maybe the ordering is wrong. Great bombing here. I'm impressed. I don't think GDI can come back from that. That's it's absurd. And he just built Seeker like crazy. Do they have PLD? No. I mean, he's not even getting point defense lasers. That would be absolute catastrophe for um, for the MLRS. Yeah, the Napalm bombs also don't deal so much damage against the interlopers. But they are already damaged, so it might not be totally useless. Okay, now they just decided to ignore each other, do nothing. The Emirati is taking its shot. Taking good hits and he does not care to retaliate okay now what is screen doing now did he go to the toilet is he like let's give him a chance Oh, now he has the anti-air, the interlopers. They just took out all the bombers. Oh, some good hits. Okay, now there come the air, air units. I think the screen player just decided that he wants to finish with air units. So he knows he has one already. And he's just having his share of fun in this game, I guess. Because this is just unnecessary here. No, he's just sending his bombers to death one by one. No, this one returns. Oh yeah, that's a lot of carriers already. It's just a normal one, yeah. No, it's the planetary assault warship, so it's not going to carry units, it's just heavy heavy lasers. It's basically Independence Day now for uh, GDI. Yeah, I mean, he could have closed this game a long time ago. Now, yes, that's now the time for the MCV to just unfold and go away for a new, find a new home. So, I'm a bit afraid that GDI player will not give up now and just do trolling. But uh, yes, I think it's, we, we are in for some trolling here as well. Great, great game. Great game. Yeah, he's not... Ah, he also has a base up here. Okay, he found that one as well, so I think it's gonna end soon. So that's it, game over. Um, so let's have a look at the third control replay. Terminated. I don't know. Battle control initialized. That one. Battle control. Maybe the ordering is wrong and then this means GDI must win now. But 
Okay, this is a base crawl by the sprint layer. Uh, interesting. So this map Rügenballer, there's a lot of blue terbarium here, so you can scale up with even less harvesters and get your production up. I think this kind of fight we have already seen in the first game, where GDI has a big advantage with all the infantry and wins this. GDI has more earnings, so the game starts exactly like the other game. Uh, yeah, I think this game should be won by GDI easily. And this might be the difference of having shorter distance here between two players. Um, this makes uh, the advantage GDI has with this army here bigger. Let's see. But I can't imagine that screen will, will anyhow recover from this. It's just not possible. Or only if GDI totally forgets to build units, but there's already three MCVs. Wow. So GDI is going to scale up the economy like crazy. The, the Grenadiers are really good against buildings. This is not going to end well here. Okay, now the interlopers defend this. But there comes the second wave already. Still some one lone turret. And uh, I think he's gonna build up the construction vehicles and his economy is going to scale up like crazy. The army craft already tells the story. Oh, but the earnings not so different. He is now desperately building infantry that normally this player never does. Hoping that he can turn around the game, but I don't think so. So my guess would be this here was actually the second game. And um, the Tune Patrol was maybe the last game. Yeah, a strong, strong rush by GDI. Taking out the nerve center for whatever reason. This is like the screen radar and gives higher units, but he's actually just building warriors anyway and interlopers, and he should still be able to build these units. to spend all his money. I think he should just go straight now for the colony platforms. Well, this reinforcements here are quite well. He has the power suits that now take out infantry, but shooting on the portals. Yeah, now he's going for the colony platforms, the right decision. But they, these tanks might not make it. But there's so much coming, this game is over. But he's only building infantry, no tanks coming out. Maybe should go for the harvesters, I don't know. Ah, and he's given up. Very good match. All three matches were quite well. I mean, the trolling at the end of the match we have seen second was a bit unnecessary, but still uh, a great final of the um, winner bracket.